California Democrats, in the meantime, still silent after the murder of Officer Ranil Singh by an illegal immigrant. Uh, but calling instead for ICE to be investigated. Republicans blasting the left for not backing border security. The Democrats talk a good game, but the actions don't match, match the rhetoric. Think about this. Uh, voted against Kate's law. Voted against the, uh, the Criminal Alien Act. Uh, they support sanctuary cities. Uh, I, I would lay a lot of this blame on the other side of the aisle. So, are Democrats just playing politics? Here now to debate is former Deputy Assistant Secretary under uh, Secretary of State under President Obama, Joel Rubin, and RNC spokesperson Kaylee McEnany. Thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it. Good Thanks, morning. Heather. So, let's bring up these images of all of these California Congress members who have not commented. There's 10 uh, who say they're unavailable to comment, and then there's another group that uh, has not commented at all, 31 of them, who haven't responded, let's just say. So, Kaylee, I'll begin with you. Uh, what do you think about their non response? Well, every single one of them needs to be held accountable and ask questions about why they have supported the lawless policies that led to the death of Officer Singh. It is a tragedy what happened, especially because it was preventable. And you heard there the county sheriff say quite clearly that our hands were tied because of political interference, that California's sanctuary laws were responsible for what happened. It did not allow law enforcement to report the criminal activity of this horrendous murderer to ICE. He should never have been in this country. He was allowed and enabled because of sanctuary laws. We need to say it loudly and every single member of Congress in California who has been against border security needs to answer, needs to change their policies, and needs to secure our borders so no one like Officer Singh ever loses their lives again. Joel, it does seem like they should be commenting at the very least. I mean, this individual who was arrested should not have been here. Uh, he'd been arrested before. He's a member of a gang. He had known gang ties. So why no comment and why was he here? Well, Heather, first and foremost, absolutely, the killing of Officer Singh is deplorable and it should be condemned and it should be condemned across the board. But that's not the real issue here. The real issue is that uh, we don't have an immigration system at all that's functioning. We do need a comprehensive program. We need to ensure that individuals like uh, this killer who had uh, been arrested before, that they are prosecuted properly. But uh, we can get them without uh, generalizing about an entire immigrant population. This sanction Sanctuary cities, and I'll be very blunt, uh, oftentimes have uh, allowed individuals to call the police against criminal activity. They uh, enable people to feel comfortable to do that. Uh, it's not at all clear that sanctuary, sanctuary cities are the cause of this. We shouldn't mix cause and effect. Uh, the individual should be prosecuted, but it's not because he's an immigrant. It's because he's a bad individual. Kaylee? Yeah, you look at the numbers and ICE apprehended and arrested 127,000 illegal immigrants with criminal convictions. That includes more than 1,000 homicides, and that was last year alone. There are a bad contingency among the illegal immigrant population. Good. It's not everyone, but it is certainly some. And not a single American, not one, should lose their lives because the laws were not enforced. There are far too many examples from Officer Singh to Dominic Durden to Kate Steinle. You can name their names, and every single one of those Americans would be here today if the laws were enforced. And the Democrats need to step up to the plate, negotiate with the president, stop vacationing in California, Nancy Pelosi, come back to Washington and negotiate so people are safe and secure in our country and in our borders. Well, clearly the laws worked. If these individuals were arrested, I mean, that's, that's not the problem. It's not because Democrats are calling for comprehensive immigration reform that individuals are committing murder. Uh, there's just no cause and effect there at all. But there it didn't is. work. The it didn't work because we have, ice. Yeah. It didn't work because, because we have a dead American. We have uh, an immigrant who actually came here and did it right the legal way. And the only thing he wanted to do was serve this country and pay this country back. And the legal immigrant is dead. And we have an illegal immigrant who's already been arrested twice for DUI and, uh, you know, who was able to get in across the border because we don't have border security.
But, but I don't think that we would ask. Uh, the, I don't think the legal immigrant is going to say that all immigration should be shut down as a cause, and, and that's no why we need a comprehensive that. program. But that's why we, we shouldn't be walking away from comprehensive immigration reform that creates a process for asylum seekers and for immigrants that's real and legitimate and clear. And right now we don't have that. And the Trump administration is is playing politics and blaming Democrats rather than coming to the table and having a real negotiated outcome for that kind of a program. But they're not at the table because they're in Hawaii. Why, Kaylee? Right. right, exactly. And the only person, the only uh, party here that has offered a solution, comprehensive immigration reform, is President Trump. He said, I will give you DACA legalization if in return you give me the barrier structure, you give me a border wall. It was a fair compromise. Democrats walked away. Nancy Pelosi's in Hawaii. Chuck Schumer laughed at the deal. This was a fair deal. If you want border security, you want DACA legalization, there's one person who is willing to give it, and it's President Trump. It's up to Democrats to stop well, vacationing year, and come back to a, Washington. A year ago, President President Trump actually wasn't comfortable making that deal. He had $25 billion on the table that he walked no, away from. No, that was a right farce. So there were strings tied around that $25 billion. Billion. Yeah, the $25 billion was in appropriations money, and now he's gone from $5 billion down to $2.5 billion, and we're still not negotiating. Uh, Joel and Kaylee, thank you both for joining us. We will see if any work gets done when everybody gets back. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. You too. Happy New Year.